Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. You may use the details on the screen to connect with us for our online tutorial services. Hi, this is Captain Sunil Baba from Marine Gurukul. Welcome to this video on ship's magnetic compass. One of our viewers had asked us a fundamental question on the ship's magnetic compass. In this video, let us try to understand how to decode and answer these type of questions easily. We have been using magnetic compass right from our school days where a simple compass needle is used for conducting magnetism practicals in the physics lab. The magnetic compass which is used to steer the ship is much more advanced as it is affected by the huge metallic ship structure on which it is fitted. Also, this compass consists of numerous components known as compass correctors. It is recommended that you make yourself familiar with the basics of ship's magnetism and the compass correctors before watching this video. So with this basic understanding clear in our mind, let us now proceed to the question. We now have a question based on the magnetic compass. Uh, these type of questions, they involve the concepts of magnetism and the concepts related to the coefficients. The question says, at Antofagasta, Chile, a ship was lying on a heading of 270 degrees. Maximum deviation was found to be 3 degrees east. If the permanent magnetism was corrected using forward and aft corrector magnets, state the possible reasons for getting this deviation and how it can be corrected. Now before we go into the question, one important thing to understand uh, in these type of questions is that uh, when you have these type of questions, you cannot pick up their answers directly from the book. These questions basically test our understanding of the coefficients, understanding of the magnetism of the earth, magnetism of the ship, and you will need to apply your understanding to the question to find the solution. So let us go into the solution now and try to apply this. First, let us go into the formula for deviation. We are aware that deviation on any particular heading is given by coefficient A plus B sine cos plus C cos cos plus D delta sine twice the compass cos plus eco cos twice the compass cos. So using the coefficients, we can easily find out the deviation on any particular heading. Now let's try to analyze the deviation generated on the given heading. The heading given is 270. Now coefficient A, we are aware that it does not depend upon heading. It gives us a constant deviation on all the headings. So whatever is the heading, coefficient A is going to be present. So on a heading of 270, westerly heading, which is a cardinal heading, coefficient A is going to be present. So we mark a green tick mark here. Moving on to coefficient B, the second part of the deviation is given by B sine cos. Now sine of 270 is minus 1. So in fact, the deviation generated because of coefficient Prevo will be the highest on this heading. So this is also going to be present. Let us indicate this also by a green tick mark. We move to the third part, Charlie cos cos, C cos cos. Now cos of 270 is 0. So the deviation because of coefficient C on the westerly heading will be 0. So let us put a cross here. Moving on to the next part, we have D sine twice the compass cos. Now D is uh, also absent on all the cardinal headings. Sine of 2 into 270 that is sine of 540 is also 0. So this part of the deviation is also going to be absent because of coefficient delta. Coefficient delta is zero on cardinal headings and maximum on intercardinal headings. 
Next, we move on to coefficient eco. This part gives us e cos of twice the compass course. So eco is uh, having its maximum value on uh, cardinal headings. So this part of the deviation will also be present. Also cos of 2 into 270, that is 540, is uh, also having a magnitude of 1. So coefficient e part of this deviation will be maximum. So we put a green tick mark here. So when you analyze the formula, you see three causes of deviation can be present. Coefficient A, coefficient B, and coefficient E. Now let us try to analyze these coefficients one by one in detail. <coughs> so the same thing is mentioned here. Coefficients generating deviation on 270 are A, alpha, B, bravo. B would consist of two parts, that is permanent B and induced B. It can have both these components and coefficient E, eco. Now, as far as coefficient A is considered, coefficient A is not generally present on normal merchant vessels. As we do not have any unsymmetrical horizontal soft iron on the ship. Whatever horizontal soft iron is present on the ship is symmetrical about the compass location. May it be the fore and aft longitudinal or the outward ship beam, both are symmetrical. So coefficient A is generally absent on normal merchant vessels. So the probability of deviation being generated by coefficient A is not there. Moving on to coefficient eco now, coefficient E. Coefficient E is also not generally present on normal merchant vessels as we need horizontal soft iron symmetrical at 45 degree orientation to the fore and aft line for generation of coefficient eco. So usually on normal merchant vessels, we do not have any HSI at a 45 degrees angle to the fore and aft line. Whatever HSI, HSI we have on board, it is either fore and aft or outward ship. It could be fore and aft longitudinal or outward ship beam. So coefficient E is also absent on normal merchant vessel. So the probability of coefficient E also is not there. Now coming on to coefficient uh, Bravo, coefficient B. Now in coefficient B, the question tells us the permanent magnetism was corrected using fore and aft corrector magnets. The forward and aft corrector magnets correct the permanent B part of coefficient Bravo. So it, it is mentioned in the question that PB has been corrected. The only option which now remains is the part induced B. So induced B is the most likely cause of this deviation which is being generated on the ship. Now this gets strengthened by the fact that there is no mention of correcting the induced magnetism in the fore and aft direction. The question doesn't tell us anything about correction of the induced magnetism. So this deviation which is generated is because of induced B. So let us now see how induced B can generate this uh, easterly deviation. Now for this, we need to be aware of that uh, Antofagasta port in Chile is in the southern hemisphere. It is at about 23 degree south latitude. And in the southern hemisphere, we are aware that the magnetic lines of force come out of the earth's surface. So IB induced B, which is generated by VSI, vertical soft iron. If there is any vertical soft iron in the southern hemisphere, the lines of force, magnetic lines of force coming out of the earth surface will enter from the bottom, giving it a blue polarity and will come out from the top end of the VSI, giving it a red polarity. So the top end of all the vertical soft iron in the southern hemisphere will be red. This top end is what affect our compass. So now let us make a diagram of the ship. You see the ship on a westerly heading. We have the compass needle also present here. North end of the compass needle has a red polarity, points towards the north, and the south end of the compass needle has a blue polarity. The question mentions that there is a three degree east deviation which is present. 
So let us show the deviation also. You can see this yellow color arrow showing the easterly deviation. Now for generating this easterly deviation, we know the top end of VSI in this southern hemisphere is having a red polarity. Now for a red pole to generate easterly deviation, it has to be west of the compass or forward of the compass. Let me show you. If you have a red pole in this particular location, as you see in the diagram now, this red pole is going to repel the red pole or north pole of our magnetic compass needle. And this repulsion is going to generate a easterly deviation. So a red pole is present forward of the compass or to the west of the compass. You see it is forward of the compass. It is closer to the bow side of the ship. So this is generating a easterly deviation. So this uh, vertical soft iron has not been corrected. So that is why the easterly deviation is generated. Now there is one more possibility of having a red pole here. That possibility is that if we have corrected the induced P component of the ship, let us assume that there is a funnel aft of the compass needle and we have corrected it using a flinder bar. Now if the length of the flinder bar is more than what is required on that ship, so then the top end of the flinder bar is also going to generate a red polarity which will be over and above the magnetism generated by the funnel. So that also can create a easterly deviation. So there are two possibilities. Either there is a VSI forward of the compass which has not been corrected or if the correction has been made by a flinder bar funnel correction has been made by a flinder bar and it has been put forward of the compass needle the length of the flinder bar is more than required in both these cases we will have a red polarity forward of the compass towards the bow and this red polarity when the vessel is on westerly heading is going to generate a easterly deviation so this is the reason and the question asks how it can be corrected. If it is a VSI forward of the compass, we have to place a flinder bar aft of the compass to cancel it. And if it is caused because of a oversized flinder bar, then the flinder bar has to be readjusted and the length of the flinder bar needs to be modified so that the correction is just right. The overcorrection has to be modified. I hope this video added value to your understanding of the topic and if so, please do like and share our content. This motivates us to generate more videos and content similar to this one and this also helps these kind of videos reach out to more people. If you need any kind of further assistance, you can write to us on the given mail id marinegurukul at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you all the best.